All right, guys, so we're back on the 100 series Land Cruiser that we did our turbo and injector upgrade to. Uh, the customer's been in touch with us and asked what we believe the restrictions and what we can do to get a bit more out of it. Obviously, the first thing we pointed towards was the snorkel that's on it. Back in the day, it was essentially the only snorkel available for this vehicle. Uh, what they've since done is they've developed a larger snorkel, the Safari R-Max, which we're going to fit to the vehicle, put on the dyno, get some back-to-back -back results and see what increases in power and torque. All right guys, so we've got the snorkel that was on it and obviously I've got the RMAX snorkel next to it. Visually, you can straight away see the volume difference. The RMAX is enormous compared to it. So something to think about air intakes and snorkels is the less restriction you have, the faster the engine can accelerate and the potential for more power and torque is there. So to fit the larger snorkel, there's obviously a bit of modification that has to happen to the factory airbox. That is the factory airbox intake there. You can see it's quite small. It's about three inches in diameter. This is the R-Max intake that needs to be adapted to the airbox. So this section of the airbox is going to be removed. This one will be glued and riveted into place and that will allow for the fitment of the new snorkel. Okay, so as you can tell and see, the guard has been cut to allow for the new snorkel to be fitted as well as the intake ducting has been fitted to the airbox and from previously you can see at how much bigger it really is. It's a a substantial increase. We're about to put on the snorkel, refit the airbox, and it's basically all finished. Okay, so in this case, we've removed the smaller, more restrictive snorkel, installed a larger, less restrictive snorkel. This will allow the turbo to spool up faster, increasing airflow, and in turn, creating more power and more torque. Okay, RMAX snorkel's all fitted up. We're about to head to the dyno, give it a tune up and see what results we get. Righto, so we've just finished tuning up this 1HD that we fitted the R-Max snorkel to. Of course, this is the one fitted with our big turbo kit and injectors. Now, the results are pretty much what we expect. Boost came in quicker, it was at a higher level, and I was able to adjust the fueling to suit. So what you can see here is it's picked up basically six kilowatts across the entire rev range, as well as about 20 newton meters of torque at all four wheels. So a really good result for a very simple modification.